Hello and welcome to this lecture on comparative law. Now in this lecture we're going to explore the concept of comparative law. We'll talk about its importance as well as how it helps us to understand the legal systems around the world. So let's get started. Now comparative law is a study of different legal systems, their similarities as well as their differences. It involves comparing and analyzing legal principles, institutions, and practices across various countries or jurisdictions. The primary goal of comparative law is to gain insight into the diverse legal systems and draw meaningful comparisons that can enrich our understanding of law. Now, comparative law offers several important benefits. The first is it gives us an understanding of legal systems. So by comparing different legal systems, comparative law helps us gain a deeper understanding of how laws are created how they're interpreted, and how they're enforced in different jurisdictions. Now, this knowledge helps us appreciate the diversity of legal cultures as well as systems worldwide. The second benefit is it helps provide legal reform and harmonization. Now, comparative law provides valuable insights for legal reform efforts. By studying successful legal practices in other jurisdictions, lawmakers can learn from the best practices and adapt them to their own legal systems. It also facilitates harmonization efforts, as countries can align their laws with international standards as well as conventions. Next, comparative law facilitates legal transplants and borrowing. Now, comparative law enables the study of legal transplants, where legal concepts, principles, or institutions are adopted from one legal system to another. Shouldn't be a surprise that many of the laws and regulations that are created usually start somewhere else. So this process of borrowing allows countries to benefit from the experiences and developments of other jurisdictions, promoting legal evolution as well as adaptation. The last benefit of comparative law is in the area of human rights and the rule of law. Now, comparative law plays a vital role in promoting human rights and the rule of law globally. By comparing legal systems, we can help identify areas where human rights protections are strong or maybe even lacking and work towards enhancing the legal framework to safeguard those individual liberties. Now that we understand the benefits of comparative law, we're going to talk about the two main approaches. The first is called legal families. Now, comparative law classifies legal systems into families based on shared characteristics, such as civil law tradition, common law tradition, Islamic law, or socialist law. Now, this approach highlights the historical and cultural factors that shape legal systems within a particular family. The second approach to comparative law is what we call functional comparative law. Now, this approach focuses on comparing specific legal issues across different legal systems. For example, it might analyze how different countries handle contract law, perhaps constitutional law, or maybe intellectual property rights as well. Now, this approach allows for a very detailed examination of specific legal areas. As we approach the end of this lecture, I just want to emphasize that comparative law helps to provide a valuable framework for understanding legal systems across the globe. It allows us to appreciate the diversity of our legal cultures, learn from the best practices, and help promote legal reform as well as harmonization. It also plays a crucial role in helping to safeguard human rights as well as uphold the rule of law. So by embracing comparative law, we expand our legal knowledge, foster cross-cultural dialogue, and strive for a more just and inclusive global legal landscape. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.